So, time out on World War II. We've got um, 1809 here. Uh, this is relatively new. I just picked this up a week or two ago. And today, I got this in the mail, which is another title from OSG. Uh, the Last Days of the Grand Army. Uh, four Days at Waterloo. Why did I get this? Because uh, I'm a crackhead and I couldn't help myself. And it was, uh, I got a great deal from the dude, uh, I think his name's John, is it John from Paper Wars, the editor, I'm just looking for his name here, um, yeah, John Burt, I bought it from him, and uh, he's a nice guy, he put up with my bullshit, uh, I, I was doing my fanboy thing with him, I love his magazine, and, uh, and I think that uh, the, the new approach with the game in it, and uh, the whole shooting match is just friggin' awesome. Operation Shingle's a great game, and the magazine edition had some really good articles in it. So I bought this from him, and I was doing my fanboy thing, and I also hit him up for a discount at the same time, and he, he bought half of my bullshit, but not all of it. So I got a little little discount from him, which was nice. And 1809, so these games, I'm buying, I'm buying this, I bought this game in 1806 for a very specific reason, because I'm reading more about uh, uh, the, opera, the operational art of war, and if you've seen any of the crap that I've posted on BEG, I, I'm always inarticulately asking questions about the transition from classical strategy to the operational art of war. And when did that happen? How did it happen? And why did it happen? And, and often I don't ask the questions the right way, but sometimes I deliberately make the question a little confusing so that I get more people answering and giving more opinions about things around the topic and so that uh, dry that drives my uh, energy level and helps me think about the topic in a broader sense than just the very narrow definition of the operational art of war and there's a u.s impression of what that is i think and there's a european impression of what that is and i'm not going to go into all that now but I am really excited about 1809 because 1809 is going to help me um, uh, understand more about the genesis of uh, operational art. And 1806 is also another uh, title that I've just recently played that was an introduction uh, to the operational art. So. Uh, more on that later. I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and pull together. I've been reading a bunch of books on the topic as well. Uh, thank you to Eric uh, Munro uh, uh, Walters. I think it is. He sent me a couple of titles that I should read, and uh, I've got uh, three or four others that I need to crank through. But I'm building a um, a list of battles that uh, I, I, I'm hoping will help crystallize my understanding, and I can share some of that with you. And it really may not be interesting to anybody, but it really doesn't matter. I'm really interested in it, and we're going to have this uh, ongoing conversation about uh, strategy and uh, command and how uh, that's represented in war games, but also what really went on and what, at what point over time did uh, dramatic changes happen. And really, from 1806 through to the 1860s, there was a, a fascinating period of time where the command structure, uh, the concept of the general staff and technology, and all these things all uh, came to bear uh, on uh, armies and how armies were put together and structured and managed and moved and uh, organized and planned and uh, sent to battle and the tactics they used and how much strategy was, how much control was uh, available. I'm going to split this up into two videos because this is boring as all hell. No one's going to see this. You're not going to care, I can tell. So uh, anyway, we're going to have this conversation about operational art, whether you like it. When it says operational art, I'll put up art on the videos and you can go bleh, the Napoleonic titles. I'm going to look at the uh, 1860s era. Yes. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna uh, suck it up and be a big boy and try and uh, get my head around the American Civil War. So, so I had a great couple of weeks. Haven't actually played a lot of games. I've really had uh, very few turns of things going on. 
Uh, I played two turns of Winter War today, well, I guess yesterday. And that was really it for this week. You know, it's the week of the, uh, well, today's the 10th of August. So uh, yesterday, you know, this, this week, I really haven't played much at all. Not Vassal, I haven't had time for Vassal. It's just been busy with work. So anyway, talk to you soon, and I uh, hope you guys are uh, having some fun and rolling some dice.